state-of-the-art engineering building. It was designed by Marcel Breuer. Right. Um, it was extremely controversial because people thought it didn't work with the, the neoclassical architecture of the rest of this part of the campus. I actually liked it because I think it's a really interesting looking building. Um, there's a, besides state-of-the-art classrooms and research laboratories, there was an engineering library underneath this patio in the back. Um, on the roof was an observation bubble. It was a hermetically sealed bubble that was used by the meteorology students. But if you knew somebody, you can get a key there. And you went in there in the middle of a thunderstorm, and it was a magnificent view over the city of New York watching thunderstorms. The Heights itself is geographically the highest location within the city of New York. So that is a really hot, you know, up there location to watch beautiful weather patterns. The back of it was a giant concrete wall. At one point, some friends of ours put together a light show on the back of Tech 2, which caused a great deal of consternation on the Cross Bronx Expressway, which was able to see it. Um, but again, um, that's the engineering part, and this was University College. Um, if, you're, if you're of a more conservative point of view like I am, Breuer's Tech 2 are what the um, BC, Bronx Community College calls Meister Hall's a disaster. You know? It's the brutal or brutal style, which you can see. It's huge. That's one thing it has going for it. But if you're of the more conservative point of view, uh, it's a disaster. Breuer paid homage, quote unquote, to Stanford Wyatt by putting in the uh, blonde colored uh, Roman brick to match the now National Historic Landmark. But I think the, the real story underneath is that when Stanford Wyatt was killed in 1906, the plans for his plans for the entire campus were shelved. So rather than coming out, as happens in history, with uh, what would have been just unbelievable, you know, all neoclassic campus from the master himself, um, we got the mishmash. So now it's um, kind of an architectural destination, right? Because you have the most neoclassic you can possibly get in the new world with, you know, the brutal mid-century style. So it is interesting yeah. in that way. And I liked it because of that architectural visual diversity. The contrast. There were lots yeah. of interesting places to hang out on campus. And that tree over here has great historical oh, no, oh, Erica. Oh, yeah, Erica. Come on. No, At one point, tell us about the tree. this woman, so when she was Thank a young 19-year-old, so about four Erica years ago. Erica has a story yes. about the tree. And, no, um, I, I, he has a story okay. about the tree. And um, a group of us tied Erica to that tree, and we demanded ransom for her. We demanded that unless people gave us 500 pounds of pistachio nuts, we would not release her. Obviously, at some point, we relented. Some and like, charges well, weren't pressed? My sister showed up to pick me up and they were scared of her. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what probably happened. Probably correct. Probably what happened. Probably what we happened. had fun, actually. It was we fun. We had fun, we had fun here. We I had mean, to, we had a good time. It was, it was, there was once it was a, uh, a festival on this mall here when there was a solar eclipse, and we set up music speakers on the front of the student center, which is right behind here. And uh, we had a the, the, the Moon Eating the Sun Festival. Um, we had all sorts of interesting events in the student center, ranging from, uh, Richie Havens was here. Richie Havens was here. And so they had musicians playing in here. There were movies in here. There was a very active that, theater group. That Midler was on campus. She yeah, was even though the building doesn't look like much and isn't, there were, you it know, was it was heavily. very heavily used oh. and there were lots and lots of, uh, lots of wonderful things going on in there. Yeah. I was university senator. I had a little office in that building. But, uh, the news, Daily News. Heights Daily News. The newspaper. Daily Collegiate Newspaper. Heights, that was Heights Daily News. You got to think about that. Every day. Before, no, 